We're visiting Stanford University in Palo Alto, California today as they work on their net zero home for the Solar Decathlon 2013 competition. We've definitely gotten a lot of hype on campus, so I think it's going to be fun. So our site is over here to the left, and we've been very fortunate. It's really central on campus. Uh, a lot of people need to bike by here. The dorms are actually this way, and classrooms are that way, so it's going to be a great location. Uh, as you can tell, it's actually been leveled and flattened for us. And I don't know, we're really excited. We had a few carpenters come in a few weeks ago uh, and train us. So we've actually made some temporary walls I can show you down there in a little bit. You might see them. Um, and we're gearing up to start building at the end of March. So it's going to be really exciting. to build in March and be done by earlier than the summer uh, would be just so that we can do systems testing and figure out what we need to tweak. Gotcha. So again, a lot of this, we have everything from freshmen, undergrads through, you know, third year PhDs. So the skill set is a little bit different and a lot of people have done a lot of theoretical. Some people have done a lot of, you know, physical. So people's strengths and weaknesses are different. So different teams have been doing more CAD and computer and it works out. Really cool. This is our solar decathlon office, um, and here you'll actually find Derek and Brandon doing a little work. Hey. See what they're up to. So my name is Derek O'Yang, and I'm a double major at Stanford, uh, majoring in architectural design and civil engineering. My role is project manager. I started really on the design side, but moved into the, the kind of leadership role, and that involves, at a large scale, uh, working with all the different sub-team leads in the project. So we have many different specific disciplines in the project, architecture, engineering, construction, mechanical, electrical, and each of these have their own leaders as well. But my job is to really make sure that they interact with each other, that they're working in an interdisciplinary fashion, and that on the business side of things, we, we're also accounting for our budget needs and our uh, communications to the country and the world, I guess. As a student, uh, I've always been aware of the competition. It happens every two years and sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. Uh, but right around my junior year, uh, a couple of us were just thinking, why hasn't Stanford ever competed in this before? Uh, it's something that seems to be right up our alley in terms of um, our abilities as designers and engineers and the kind of research that's happening at Stanford in terms of home innovation and, and buildings. So we just decided, let's just write a proposal. It's a simple thing to, to do. Uh, it was about 30 pages, and it uh, outlined all the major things that Stanford would bring to the competition that were new, our place in the Silicon Valley, uh, the kinds of educational outreach we do as students already, and just, just our, uh, I guess, our abilities as designers. And uh, we got accepted in January. So from that point on, we were kind of committed to the project. And um, uh, pretty soon we had an organizational structure and people kind of with specific tasks. So it all kind of happened pretty naturally. The, the, the most important thing I've learned from the Solar Decathlon is teamwork and leading a team like this. Uh, we have 50 plus students working together. And it's actually, uh, the, the things we do to design this house aren't really that hard, in my opinion. It's, it's just a residential home and, and, and kind of the engineering that goes into that. The most difficult thing about this project is getting 50 people to agree on what you're doing and to do it kind of in a timely fashion. So, so the, the biggest learning from, from my role in this project isn't really the design or engineering. It's the leadership. It's the kind of management, the delegation of tasks. So, and I can't say that we're doing very well in that regard. I mean, we're trying our best, but, you know, Stanford students are always overcommitted, and, and it's hard to organize meetings even just to get two people in the same room at the same time. So uh, it's, it has been a rough uh, journey in that regard, but I'm going to take most of those skills uh, onwards to, to whatever career I, I, I pursue. Uh, my name's Brandon, and I'm currently a uh, second-year master's student in structural engineering. So... I guess I'm part of the structural team and so we're kind of in charge of the structural design which from a purely engineering standpoint is to make sure the building doesn't fall down in an earthquake or during like a large wind gust but then from I guess the design aspect is kind of helping the architects realize their design vision and then also kind of from a construction uh, standpoint integrating like how we're going to build it and if we're engineering what we're engineering is buildable. So my name is Emma Sagan. Uh, I am studying sustainable manufacturing, engineering, and design. I'm the business manager, so I oversee uh, 
the subset that falls under that communications, uh, finance, outreach, education, sort of all of that. Innovations from this project. Well, we have created the concept of the core. Uh, so essentially, you can pre manufacture a sustainable core that comes with a side of your kitchen and the bathroom already configured. It can fit on a truck bed. So the idea is that theoretically you could use lean manufacturing to create that, uh, harvest different aspects of that to up your energy efficiency, and then you can build a house around it. If you actually look at the model, you can see that this is the core. Um, you can take it out and essentially what would happen is you could have this shipped anywhere in the country uh, and build a home around it. So you get away from the sort of cookie cutter idea of the 50s, but because you can make your own design around it, but you do have sort of this fundamental energy efficiency that is really easy to just sort of put into a house. Uh, it helps with construction and it also helps with people who don't necessarily know how to be sustainable. It gives them a base point. And for those who do, we like to give the metaphor of a car where if you want it to just run, it'll get you from point A to point B. And if you want to pop the hood and you want to customize it, you can. And that's sort of what the core does. Thanks for showing us around. Thank yeah, you. Good Thank luck you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tune in. Charge up. And be part of the solution. Come back again and follow us as these teams and others design, build, and compete in the 2013 Solar Decathlon. Join us for the next episodes of Watt Trekker. Use the link below to sign up for a chance to win prizes and to be notified when our next episode is available online.